Okay, so this last one is the Demon King, or um, through the gate. Using the power of a regal demon relic, the Artificer shall send the messenger to the very future he means to prevent. Paradox. All right, this must be the ending, right? The Abyss stares at you. Stare back. What is this place? I sense some of my sisters hiding in fear. I will call out to them. They can help you cross this infected realm. Oh, I guess with the... With their help, this wall should be open now. Oh, whoa! Is it gonna close on me? This music is awesome. I guess you could have. I was gonna say, I guess you could have done this after getting the uh, little fairy. That is awesome. The eyes are looking at me though. That's kind of freaky. Are you kidding me? Let's try this again. What are those in the background? I guess those are those are people falling. It's a pretty messed up future. Wait, can I walk on this? No. It's not water, apparently. Okay, so this should open up this area. Oh, another one! Chain fairies. Oh, this is kind of scary. Why do I need this? I don't get it. Why do I need that? Up or down? I don't think it matters. Hmm. Huh? What if I go this way? Oh, jeez! Don't kill me! What is this place? Why is this here? It must have some kind of use. Otherwise, why would it be there? Right? Oh! Almost got you baited. How do I get through? Can I move up? I can, okay. Still don't know what the bottom side is for though. This map is really cool though. Is it related to this? Probably not, right? Hmm. Puzzling. Puzzling. Oh, right, this is the map. Puzzling, puzzling, puzzling. You know, even that thing hitting twice is pretty worth it, back and forth. Even if you don't loop it like crazy, it's pretty awesome. Ah, oh, damn it. Can I get up there? No. Hmm. 
bunny. Hmm. I wish I could see the map, but it's just nothing. So I want to see how big this place is. This music kind of reminds me of Streets of Rage. There's a new Streets of Rage game coming out soon, isn't there? They announced it recently or something? Jeez. Is there a point to this? Because they never touch, right? Yeah, they never touch the middle. Oh. Not sure. goes down? Yeah, okay. Oh, this is so trippy. I love it. What's down here? There's so many areas that look like secrets, but it just ends up being nothing. Oh, boss fight. Boss fight? Oh, it's just the music note. Hmm. I'm assuming it's gonna say something like the evil power in the world created an excess of good or something, I don't know, something like that. Key of courage, oh okay, determination, all that. Appearing only for the one who would venture into the biggest unknown, it is one of the blah blah blah, okay. Well that's it then. Boss what? Oh, what the hell is that? Okay. Oh, okay. That's what this is for. Oh, jeez. 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 Oh, I see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it from the very beginning? Oh, it is. Damn it, Timo! Why can't you just res me on the spot? That little arm, though, it's so disgusting. What? Oh my god. Things so nasty. Look at those little eyes. I, I think they're eyes. Little squinty things. Oh god, 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 Damn it. It's like the, the dragon the first time. If you get caught on anything, you end up dying. There's some leeway, obviously, but. Still pretty strict. And then it does that to make up for it. Oh, come on! Oh, come on, oh, come on, 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 come on. Oh, it's closing in. It's closing in, it's closing in, it's closing in, it's closing in. Damn it. Are you kidding me? That's actually really strict at the very end. Okay, well, I'm dead already. Damn, this stupid worm. It's because it, it, like, it speeds up randomly. So even if you get really far ahead of it, it compensates eventually.
Oh, my shuriken's back. That's pretty crazy. Wait, this is already open. Oh, the shuriken hit it open, didn't it? That's so cool. I can't get caught there. I gotta be really careful with uh, my charge attacks. Oh, I could boost through them, right? With iframes? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. There is some slowdown though when you do that, but I think that works. Never mind. Slowdown is very minimal. So whenever I see an enemy, I should just do that. With this guy here. Oh, okay. So now I'm I'm gonna get out. I'm pretty sure. Jinx! I jinxed it. Jinxing it is great. Am I really that tasty? Oh, come on! It's rope dart everywhere. Oh, whoa! I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. I need a boost now. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm at the end, right? Well, that was unsightly. Achievement unlocked. What was the portal? Does the portal here break too? Oh, it just shuts. Okay. Oh, you made it back. Never again. <laughs> This is incredible, what did you find? An abomination I couldn't describe with words. Sick, anything else? I found one of the music notes. Yes, I knew it. Do you know what this means? I guess we're one step closer to lifting the curse. And that the shopkeeper has to do the dishes for a whole week. I won my bet, thanks. What bet? Yeah, I'm not going back there. What bet? Did he bet that I was gonna die? Come on, have more faith. Okay, so here we go. Everything is done. Eight melodies. It sounds better on vinyl, which you've been unlocked. At long last, the melody is complete. Okay, what's next? Heck if I know. What? My knowledge is limited to the prophecy, which ends with the gathering of all music notes. Well, someone here has to know. Indeed, brave messenger. It is time for the first of our order to share with you the origins of the curse. Be right back. Who is it? This better be important. Behold, the melody is complete. Impossible. Could we finally be nearing the end? I completed the melody. Do you know what to do next? Well, I guess it's only fair. Okay, I officially forgive you for saying my shop didn't look like a shop. What? When we first met, I was really happy to show you the place, and then you said it didn't look like a shop. Have you been bitter all this time? I was just trying to do small talk. Sure, whatever. That's behind us now. <laughs> Seeing how much progress you made, it's about time I filled you in on what is really going on. I, I thought we already knew that. Here we go. Is he evil? Eons ago, a civilization of giants lived in the clouds, protecting the world from unknown forces. Is this just going to be another game? This is like an intro. Centuries went by in harmony until one day they watched helplessly as the world suffered a massive flood. Okay, flood myth. Pretty typical. Only a single piece of land remained. Pangea. 
or something. Ever adaptive, humanity gathered its survivors and built a huge temple where they would try to find new meaning. Answering the call of these troubled times, a formidable couple stepped up to be their leaders. Could this actually be the ending? Gifted with a beautiful voice and an otherworldly ability to create mesmerizing trinkets, everyone called her Muse. And he, ever stoic, fearless, and mysterious would become known as Phantom. After a decade of relative stability, the skies began flashing red, as if a war was being waged against the sky giants. Dun dun dun. Indeed, an army of demons, destroyer of worlds, had found the human realm. With humanity's protectors soon to be extinct, Muse and Phantom inspired everyone to prepare for the inevitable onslaught. The demon army was too strong, the temple was lost, and Muse was killed while trying to protect her people. Fighting back tears, Phantom picked up her final creation to keep as memento. As a memento? A music box. Abandoning the temple to the Demon King, he led the last survivors of his race to the western edge of the island. Western hero? Ninjas? We dear? That final stand proved successful, and after instructing his people to rebuild and stay hidden, Phantom pushed his luck. Blinded by rage, he darted towards the temple in a foolish attempt to take down the Demon King. Insulted by the boldness of this broken being, the Demon King opted for a punishment worse than death. But the Demon King is like super pushover, come on. Corrupting his love's memento with demon magic, he turned Phantom's music box into a tether to the human realm. Every 500 years, they would come back to torture humanity until they abandoned all hope and surrendered to extinction. Phantom was forced to wear a cursed mask which would steal his mind and keep him in a state of perpetual distress. Phantom of the Opera? Inserted into the music box, he would play the organ forever to keep the relic's magic alive. In this both mental and physical prison, he would be the one to ensure the curse on his legacy was maintained. But Phantom's will was a strong one offering lapses of sanity where he could tap into his growing understanding of demon magic. The fight to get rid of the curse would last centuries, so his people would need the ability to cooperate across generations. Time travel was the key. A messenger was needed. With his final stretch of sanity, he wrote a scroll, imbuing it with enough power to attune its carrier to time magic. A messenger is needed. Before losing his mind completely, he teleported his final hope, the scroll, to his people's hideout. As they soon realized, the scroll let them see strange manifestations, things not every mind could stand. Only a few brave adventurers had a strong enough will to carry the scroll. They called themselves messengers. Is that the soldier guy? With the ability to step through time, space-time, 
terrors, they had access to the Void, a safe haven outside of time. Messengers from all time periods would soon gather there, the perfect meeting point for their endless war. So who is the first of the Order? Is it the shopkeeper? But as it turned out, meeting denizens of the future, or even one's alternate self, could be troubling for some. Wait, the shopkeeper's me then, right? After a few incidents of more primitive messengers going into shock, they opted to conceal their appearance. So was I right in the very beginning? This guy's actually, like, Udir, the Western hero, is actually me? Thus, the Order of the Blue Robes was founded, and together they built their headquarters, the Tower of Time. Or maybe not. I still feel like it's Udir. Or maybe it's just someone else altogether. Every curse cycle would have its champion, who would join the Order after passing the scroll to the next messenger. With the support of the Blue Robes, after many cycles, the music box was reclaimed from the Forlorn Temple. Even though the relic was too powerful to be destroyed, a new hope was found that day. I want to see who the shopkeeper is. Mysterious forces of the world started materializing in the form of magical music notes. After one particularly gifted messenger managed to gather two of them, an idea emerged. An idea crazy enough that it just might work. If they created a melody strong enough to breach the music box's protection spell, maybe a messenger could enter it and rescue Phantom. But he's already insane, isn't he? Is this guy the same size as me? He's bigger, right? So there you have it. I'm not sure what you will find inside the music box, but if we have one shot at saving Phantom, this is it. Be on your guard. His mind will have conjured all sorts of traps. Good luck out there. The music box beckons. Are you ready to face your last challenge, messenger? Through the power of music, the scroll shall meet its maker. A heal would be nice. That's the fastest place to get healed. Oh, I got healed. Wait. Was it an auto heal? I'm not sure. Let's see if these ones, these robes, have anything to say to me right now. This guy just cares about a stupid challenge. You. Chat? No? You said you'd help. It's the music box. Where is it? Oh my god! Right next to the prophet! Come on, how could you miss it? There's a music sheet on the wall and everything. We've been building up to that moment forever. My bad, I tend to lose track. Believe me, I noticed. That's so good. That's actually really awesome. I was hoping for something like that. Okay. Uh, run against the wall, time to go.